All right, so now on to uh, the cockpit. Let's uh, let's just do a quick. Uh, we're just going to make a quick 2D cockpit so that we can fly the airplane and, and do some testing. Uh, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on the cock on the 2D cockpit because this is going to have a 3D cockpit that we're going to build in Blender, and uh, then we'll go over how to make that work. Um, but to fly it, we're going to want some instruments. So we're first going to need to go back to our aircraft folder, um, and then in that cockpit folder that we created, we're going to go in there, and we're going to create another new folder, folder, and it is going to be called panels, just like that. Now inside that folder, we're going to paste our panel.png. Now if you don't do this, so for example right now if we go to standard and we go to panel, this is what you've got. Now I, you can do that and, and that's fine, but that's not, I've already got something made up real quick, so that's not what I want to use. I don't want this panel background, so I've created my own. So that other panel background I have is this right here. And this is uh, just a quick image that I made, and that popped up with the wrong size from what I from the one I made. Oh, that's because I edited the one. Excuse me, I'm in the wrong spot here because I changed the one I edited. It's in here. So this right here, so I'm going to copy that because I was using it to test that. Okay, so in our airplane, cockpit, panels, and that's where you're going to put your panel PNG. And uh, this is just a, a copy of something I took off of Google, and then I made this all transparent. Now I'm just, I didn't clean any of that up, I'm going to just slap stuff on top of it for now. Um, but. Anyway, so we do that, come back in here, if I hit this, there we go, refreshes. Now, here's our panel. So, we want to slap a few instruments on here. Um, and since I'm going to do kind of as they've got here, I'm going to go with the new uh, Garmin 1000. So we've got a primary flight display. It's going to come out huge. We're going to drop that down to 0.5. Let's blotch it right there. And an MFD right there. Change its size down here also to 0.5. And voila. Simple as that. We've got just about everything we need. Um, we're actually going to throw a few buttons in here though. Uh, let's see if I can find what I'm looking for. Might as well give us an avionics on and off button. Stick that right there. And give us a battery on off button. Now we'll make custom buttons later on. Well, everything will kind of be custom with our 3D cockpit and we won't have to do it in here. But uh, for now, since we want stuff to be able to work, we're going to do it right here. Um, Trying to think of what other buttons we are going to want. Let's see, we're going to also want... Can't seem to remember where. Um, is it in handles? That's probably where it is. Here we go. Okay, we want mixture. We're gonna want 
prop because we've got a constant speed. And that should do it for now. That'll give us enough to uh, get the thing flying. Now we should also throw in we've got a flaps handle here. We'll throw in that flap handle just because. Okay. And is there anything else I'm missing? We'll call that good for now. Come up here, we hit the little save button. Go back, and now we should have ourselves a flyable airplane. I'm gonna leave that open, and let's see, depending on how quick <clears throat> this wants to pull up for me, maybe you'll get a chance to see it. I think I mentioned this before, but you don't want to develop using a beta. Um, but I didn't want this tutorial series to have to swap. I'll just use that. New flight. Sportsman right there. I like to do all my tests out in the middle of nowhere because uh, it loads up quick. It's going to say that, but that doesn't matter. All we need is a runway. Alright, and here we are. We're sitting in our 2D panel. Um, looks like our engine died for some reason. But there's your uh, airplane sitting here in uh, in the sim, and uh, let's see if I can go ahead and do that because I didn't give us a start and switch. Clearly not how you're supposed to fly the thing, but uh, you get the idea. So, anyway, then you can begin all of your uh, test flying, which I would do, it, but I don't have any of my joysticks connected, and uh, I am terrible at trying to fly with a keyboard and mouse. So. Call it uh, right there.